dude. And I know it's Christmas time and oh, do 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 um, this one has um, unfortunately seen the wrong end of a duck. Do they know that you is crap at fishing? Do, do, do. Happy days. Go on, lads. Go on. Just looks like a big, a big beep on the uh, top of your head. So, <laughs> well, you've got one of them anyway. So. Right, that's true. Yeah. Let's say one of them goes wanging off. Hi, how can I help? Hello, can I get a breakfast roll as a meal? Yeah, no problem. Just pop around the sauce. Red, please. Okay, what drink? Toffee latte. How do we go? Can I get uh, three extra hash browns? Yeah, how do we go? And a cheesy bacon flatbread. Yeah, no worries, anything else? Uh, no, I do. No problem, thank you. Next one, nobody can. Thank you. Oh! Thanks a lot. You can see the buzzers off the There were these buzzers, right? Yeah, were these buzzers here, but not this particular one. Because this was a later model. So we've got a carby. Right, where are we going? There's one just boshed down the other end, mate. I might go down there. One's just boshed down there. Right down, right down the bottom. Right down the bottom. Like three quarters of the way down. Well, we'll give it a bit here and then go up there. Right then, the rods are out. So, I've come up this end, as I saw a fish show along this bank along here. We were going to set up further down to the right in the sort of main sort of bow area of the lake. But um, after I saw a fish show along here, we've come along here quickly. Put a couple of little mesh bags out. I think Hugh's done exactly the same. He's just in the swim next door. And we'll see if one of the rods goes off. We're just going to fish in the air for maybe half an hour, maybe an hour. And just see if one of the rods goes off. It's very shallow. So there might not be any fish up here in any numbers. And it looks like there's a guy down in the swim over on this section, round in this back bay. And um, Hugh's just seen him have one. So potentially they could be fished down that way. So we just see how it goes. Leave the rods out for half an hour, maybe an hour, just with some uh, mesh bags, no other bait, and just see if we can nick a quick bite, see if there's any fish um, along here. We've seen one show. Potentially there could be a few here, and we'll go from there. If that doesn't work, we'll go back down the other end and see if we can have one down there. Right, welcome to a new video. We are back on the bank, and this is the Christmas edition. Um, this is the um, next instalment of the verses. So today we're on a local club lake and we are going to be doing naturals versus body and pellet. So I've got some worm and maggot, Hugh's got some body and pellet and we're going to be putting them against each other and seeing which one comes out on top. Yeah, so we've been here since first light, so set the rods out for the last hour or so. Um, other than the odd maybe liner, um, it's been very cute, so I think it's time for a move mate. I'm going to move back to a slightly deeper part of the lake where um, hopefully the fish are holding up and uh, yeah, see if we can put a fish or two on the bank for you so comment down below who's going to win is it going to be a, a boily and pellet man or are you a natural 
And uh, yeah, let us know who you think is going to win and let's get into it. Let's yeah. go. Let's get the rods in, let's get on the move. It's Christmas time. So when you're having fun, there's a world outside your window full of big fat cars. Do they know that you is crap at fishing? Do 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 do. Let them know it's Christmas time. Oh, do 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 Free the world, let them know it's Christmas time. That's a bit of a splosh. Oh, so Christmassy. Where's a core? <laughs> So then, as you've seen, I've unfortunately just dropped one off, um, but it was nice to get an actual bite, and I thought I'd talk you through the tactics that I'm using uh, on this session. So, like we've said, it's pretty cold at the moment. The air temperature isn't actually too bad, but the water temperature is still very cold. Um, I've dropped the um, deeper in just to get a temperature reading, and it said it's about six degrees, so it is very, very cold at the moment. So. At this time of year, generally, when the water's getting very cold, definitely below sort of 10 degrees, I'm not really looking at using a huge amount of bait. The fish don't tend to be sort of heavily feeding. They're having sort of very small short feeding spells, and I think they tend to sort of graze a little bit more. So with that in mind, it kind of dictates what sort of tactics I'm gonna be using. So I've actually decided to go down the naturals route today. Now naturals are an absolute brilliant tactic all year round, but they come into their own in the winter because the smaller silverfish that tend to cause you issues when it's warmer are obviously a lot more dormant and they tend to shoal up and don't cause you so many issues so it's it's a really good way to go so what I've got with me today is um, I've got a match pack of, um, of worms so these are like your small worms and this is about I think three quarters of a kilo and what I do with these is I actually chop them up and put them into my mix um, I could potentially spod that out if I wanted to put a little bit of extra feed in but today I'm just using some mesh bags so what I've done is I've chopped a few of those up and put them into um to my uh, bag mix i've got some big worms so these are lobworms and this is what i would tend to fish on the actual rig itself so i tend to mount them on like a hair rig or um or something similar but yeah that's what i tend to use as hook baits brilliant brilliant hook bait in the winter and then i've got some of the faithful red maggot um, these have turned a little bit so I've actually got a few casters in there as well and what I've done is I've added some of the DNA creel mill and what that does is um, it keeps them nice and dry stops them from getting sweaty and um, I also have added a, a little bit of liquid attractor so I've put some of the bug liquid in there that then soaks into that creel mill and it obviously allows it to um, pass that into the water over, um, over a longer period of time so it makes it a lot more attractive over a longer period and then what I've done with all of that is I've basically put that into um, a bucket and I've mixed in a few sort of little pellets and um, a few sort of broken up bodies and a few other bits and bobs and it's given me a lovely 
little winter mix and um, I'm putting that into some little mesh bags and just sending that out um, on the rigs just with some leg clips and um, I'm fishing a, a very small little balanced snowman um, hook bait. Now additional to that I have also got a rig tied up for um, fishing with the worm. Um, this one has um, unfortunately seen the wrong end of a duck and um, he's had a good go at this one. Luckily I managed to get it back from him before he necked it but um, it did see the wrong end of a duck and he's managed to pull most of the worms off there but I had about five or six worms just mounted on that rig. I've got a little wafter there um, just to add, add a little bit of buoyancy to it and give it a bit of separation from the hook to stop it sort of getting caught up around the actual hook itself but, um, but that's one of the rigs that I've been using and the other rig that I've been using which I actually lost a fish on is your um, my standard D rig just with a little snow snowman setup on it so that's the tactics that I use when I'm fishing like short little sessions trying to like nick a little bite um, when the water temperature is really really cold and um, it's obviously done a bite today unfortunately I lost it but we've still got a little bit of time so hopefully i'll have a chance of having another one um, before we have to get going home so um yeah that's the tactics give them a go and um, i'm sure i'll catch you a few fish go on lad go on God, he's going across that way. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. That's bloody lively. Well, the uh, cold water tactic with the naturals seem to be working. Second bite. Let's just hope I don't drop this one off. Come on. Oh, it's a little common. Happy days. This is uh, my second bite on these um, new rods I've been trying out. These are the ProLogic Element Compacts. 10 foot, three and a half. And um, they've got a load of power in this butt section. Um, but the tip's actually quite, um, quite soft. You can probably see it's bending quite nicely there for a three and a half pounder and a uh, Three and a half pound rod, but um, what looks to be quite a small common, but um, it's got nice action in it. Yeah, those naturals have uh, done the job. It's got a duck sink as well, mate. <laughs> yeah, the ducks love them as well. Save the blank. Yes. Happy days. <laughs> Get on the naturals. <laughs> right, there we go then. So finally, got one in the net. It's my second bite on the naturals. First fish on the bank, so that's one nil to the naturals. So I've taken the lead on the verses. But um, we haven't really got that much time left today. It's a very short session. But hopefully, we're going to have another couple before we go. Be interesting to see if Hugh can pull the lead back and get on the score sheet as well. But um, yeah, that one's coming to a nice bag of um, caster, maggot, and some chop worm. And um, yeah, it's produced my second bite. But um, let's slip him back and see if we can get another one and absolutely destroy Hugh on another challenge. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> he's got. <he's laughs> no, it's not a bit. <laughs> 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 he just spun straight out of it. Water, water release shot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well then, just putting out a fresh maggot and worm bag after that last fish. Let's see if we can get another one before we have to go. We've only got about an hour to go. But uh, let's see if we can uh, bag another one. Ready to go. Let's hope we have another one. Oh, lovely. Hugh uh, trying to get some carpy shops, currently blanking. Oh. If anyone wants to know what it's, uh, what it looks like to be a, uh, a blanker, right there. Watch Sean's piking video. <laughs> Right then, so we just slipped Sean's fish back and I'm getting a little nervous that maybe Naturals is the one today after he's had a couple of pickups, but fingers crossed I can draw it back as we go into the dying minutes of the match. So tactics wise for me then, I'm still going for maximum attraction, a bit like Sean, but I'm going down the pellet and boily route. So what I've got in these little mesh bags of goodness as I describe them is obviously some crumbed up S7, some S7 pellet and then some of the matching spod hydro syrup. And yeah, just little mouthfuls of goodness just to go for that bit of attraction around the hook bait and hopefully that's then enough for them to be nailed. On the hook, I'm using some 12 mil pop-ups, so nice bright fluoro uh, yellow at the moment. That's one of the PBs from DNA. And obviously in these winter months where the fish are a little bit more lethargic, just hopefully draw them in and obviously entice them enough into a bite. And that's all we're looking for. If I did pick up a couple of bites and I thought there was a few in the area and they were quite up for a bit of a feed, I'd then offer a little bit of a scattering of some of the um, S7 12 mil boilies. That's obviously just to then hold them in the air and hopefully sort of entice that feeding response. But as it's been today, it has been quite slow or very slow. And uh, yeah, it's been a bit of a struggle. So just sticking to the mesh bags, no freebies. And uh, yeah, like I say, as we go into the dying minutes of the match, fingers crossed, I can at least draw one back and then get on the score sheet. Oh, oh, mate. mate, good work. Have one of them. Have that one. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Comment down below. Do you like mince pies or not? A oh, nice festive little mince pie. Love it. My, there's not much cream on there. I'm going to make some more. Well, don't use all that. What a bit more? I oh, know. My missus wants me to take that home with her. <laughs> Christmas time at Hughes. That's it. it. Like. Once a year. Why not? Happy days. Oh, I haven't had this stuff for ages. I forgot yeah, I how good it is. It's good, isn't it? My bottom mind's burnt a little bit. Mm. I'm probably put it all in my mouth. <laughs> what? Fucking <laughs> hell. Oh, blimey. Oh, a bit hot. Oh. Wow. Cheers. Done. Do you want a bit on your coffee? <laughs> yeah, go on. God, yeah, not that much. <laughs> Look at that for a Christmas coffee on the bank. Oh, happy days. Jesus. It's so thick with cream. Mmm. Oh, God, that was really hot. Jeez. Oh.
Right, so we go, it's the end of the session unfortunately, and who won? Me! Yeah. Come on! Naturals! All, all <laughs> I'm gonna hear, all I'm gonna hear now. So yeah, fair play, two takes, landed one at least, dropped the other one off. But uh, yeah, Still one. Naturals definitely has been the winner today. So uh, thanks for watching, hope you really enjoyed it. Guess we ought to wish them a Merry Christmas. You've still got your hat on you, Wally. Yeah, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just looks like a big a big beep on the uh, top of your head. So, <laughs> Well, you've got one of them anyway. So. Well, that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But anyway, back to it. Merry, Merry Christmas to you all. Thanks a lot for watching all this year. We do appreciate it. And hopefully you'll join us in the new year. Uh, do you want to tell them to subscribe? Subscribe to the channel if you're not already and check out the social media at the bottom of the screen Especially Instagram as we do update that when we're out on the bank in these kind of in-session videos So um, yeah, Merry Christmas. Thanks for following us this year and um, have a great new year and we'll see you on the bank again um, In 2022 probably yeah, take so, care. See you there So our start then and our yeah, say usually, yeah, you always do. What do you want to start? No. You can start if you no, want. You no, mate. <laughs> that sounds like I'll you want to start. You'll be like, oh, no, yeah. That sounds you like you want to start. Say this. You can start if you want. You can start. <laughs> now. So, am I starting? <laughs> you always do. Hugh had to drop off the little one. <laughs> There's a bloke running. Yes, <laughs> mate. Oh, my day. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, no, mate. mate. Oh dear. That is an outfit. Yeah. He looks more of a... Starting out again. Yeah. Oh, he's on a roll then. Have a good Christmas, have a good New Year, and um, I won. Oh, I'll drop that in at the end, <laughs>